Hello, good morning, people. First thing I want to say, no, I'm not having a mental breakdown. I just chopped them all my hair because uni means fresh start and my hair need a fresh start because that shit was long. Um, so here we are. I just wanted to brush that first. It's like, it's all the first thing you notice when you click on this video and my hair's not short, but it was fun. Here's a video. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that, that happened. Um, anyway, carrying on. Today, I'm going to do a Freshers Advice video because people have been asking for it and I've been here like a month and a half now, which is fucking scary. And I think I kind of have like it down, things I forgot, things I learned, things like I just needed to do that I didn't. Just lots of advice that I feel like I should just pass on to the next generation of freshers so here we are okay so the first section if you will is like going out um like clubbing etc the first thing i put down is about buying freshers tickets um i'm sure if you're well you probably won't be on facebook groups yet but when you will be there'll be lots of ads going around um for like freshers tickets that you can buy before you get to the actual uni and a lot of them are um, marketed on that, like a uh, app called Fat Soma, I think it's called, like F A T S O M A. Um, now that all of those events on there are absolute trash, do not buy them. <laughs> like I swear to God, please do not buy them. Yes, the tickets only cost like seven quid to like fourteen pounds, but all of the events that are put on in there usually are in like cocktail bars and only the people that are like probably organized actually turn up to them um your university when you get to your university um you will already probably have posters put through the doors of all of the freshers events that are actually for your university and they tend to be quite good like the ones for ysj were amazing um and like they were really good and all the ones that were at Fart Summer and people went to they said they were really bad and just ended up going to the university ones anyway so all I'd say is don't waste your money on those tickets and go to the university ones because it's a lot more worth your money leading on from that I would say bring every single piece of going out clothes that you own <laughs> like every single bit like even your fancy dress like even things you think you won't wear um, bring all of it from home because you will need all of it <laughs> especially during freshers when you're going out quite a lot and like um, universities will have like set days during the week that they still put events on like YJ has three a week you have a coup, no, three, four four, three, three that most people go to um, on a Monday we have Cuda Mondays on Wednesday we have frat party and then on the Saturday we have Close Mui, um, and they're all really great. But like some of them are themed, so like you might have to dress up in animal print, or for example, Halloween's only like a month after you come here, so you need fancy dress. Um, and as university students, we don't have a lot of money, so bringing all of your clothes is a definite must, um, especially for going out because you will need the clothes for it. Um, yeah, that's all I'd say for that. Um, now, like, in the next section is, um, like, moving in, sort of stuff you need, things people forget. Um, I thought I'd put this in the whole section because this is quite important and it's also a lot of advice that I wish I had. Um, sorry if I keep on looking down, it's where my laptop is, so. <laughs> so the first thing is definitely bring food with you when you move in. I did not, um, and the first night of me being here, I had to literally pop down to my local spa to get some pasta. Um, and then I didn't go shopping until two, like, two days afterwards. And it was just a bit stressful me not having any food. So I would 100% um, recommend you grab like, it doesn't have to be a lot, just grab some like food before you get here especially like food wise i only really buy long life stuff i don't have much in the fridge and the freezer all i have is like little cans like microwave or rice stuff like that um that's what i would 100 recommend getting 
because as students I don't feel like any of us are really organized to like remember dates on food <laughs> so we don't really like schedule when we're gonna have that certain food we only really get refrigerated like meat stuff if we know oh like I'm gonna specifically look at this on that day but at the end of the day we're super busy we're always having lectures all the time so it's sort of like grab something and go um so I would definitely recommend getting loads of long life stuff especially like canned like beans um you can basically get canned anything now like i have canned chili con carne that's really nice <laughs> um like spaghetti and like pot noodles and super noodles like all of that like i would definitely recommend getting stuff like that the second thing is try and get all your stuff unpacked in your room on like the first slash second day i feel like because i did this i didn't properly decorate it like i've got lots of fairy lights up now that i didn't have in the first week i would 100 percent recommend trying to get all of your stuff unpacked in the first couple of days because it's just it just really helps um your home like your like your room and your flat feel like your room um the only thing that i hate about my room is the bogey wall that's currently behind me um i despise it with my entire life but um all I would say is I definitely recommend getting all your stuff unpacked in the first couple of days because it is just extremely helpful um, and you like everything sort of in front of you and it's just nice it makes you feel a bit more like home rather than just having your stuff unpacked on the floor like yeah number three this is a very controversial one because I feel like I watched so many videos while going to uni about people saying don't get it and then other people saying do get it but I would say bring a doorstop. <laughs> we use our doorstops so much, like my entire flat. I think it's just like a really useful thing to have, um, especially during the first week. We all used to like pop our doors open and put in the flat so we could like see each other. Especially when I'm working away at my desk, I'll leave my door open so people can come in and chat to me. Like, um, and like we have a doorstop for the kitchen because the kitchen has a door on it. It's a fire door, so we pop that open with a doorstop. Um, yeah, just, I would definitely recommend getting a doorstop. I think it's just very helpful and you can use them for a lot of things. Like for example, like on nights out, I will drag my mattress into Jess's room and then I'll pop my door open with the doorstop. Like it's just loads of things like that. I would definitely recommend getting a doorstop. Like I didn't bring one with me, but I went to B&M about a week in and brought a bag of 10 for the entire flat. It was literally one perfect day. So I would 100% recommend getting a doorstop. Number four, personal photos are really important. I have them absolutely everywhere in my room. I have Tom and Emily here. I have like a collage of all of like my photos here. I have an entire photo board. I have albums of photos, I have frames. I literally have like photos everywhere. It just definitely just makes me feel a bit more at home, makes me remember people from back home. And I think it's just really important to have lots of personal photos. I've also got another like list of stuff people forgot including extension leads which is a very important thing hangers as well um i know as girls i don't know about boys maybe boys and girls um really like having matching hangers so i literally bought about 150 with me because i have a lot of clothes so i would 100 percent recommend getting hangers and bring warm clothing with you that is a very very important one the first mess you have no matter where you are in the country it will be cold because it's the winter so bring layers with you especially because i'm living all the way up north now and i used to live down south it's like a very very important to bring lots of layers with you because i'm not used to this cold buy some shoes to wear in your accommodation now i'm telling you now you have a death wish if you go into that kitchen wearing no shoes like socks are just mm, not even socks really i wear my crocs everywhere i have two pairs of crocs I have black crocs and I have yellow crocs. I wear them to death, I wear them everywhere. My flatmate steals them. I'm getting her some for her birthday because Jessica fucking diamond. I, if I come into my room again and my crocs are gone, I swear to God, I'm decapitating it. Um, also, a lot of the accommodations don't have full length mirrors. I had to buy one myself and stick on the wall. Um, I know you can get like over the door ones if you your accommodation doesn't let you use like command strips and stuff. So that's really, um, really helpful. Bring blankets, like I said earlier, it gets really cold um, during the winter, especially in university accommodations, because it can either be extremely warm and then you're good, or it could be like mine where you have ancient windows and a draft is constantly coming through and your heating only works for 20 minutes at a time. So you just need like, you just need blankets. It's just, and it's just a nice thing to have, like you can walk around your accommodation with your blanket around you. It's just very comfortable. 
I feel like it's very homely as well, it just makes me feel like I'm at home. So I would definitely recommend getting a blanket. Bluetooth speaker, again, very important. Um, as students, I should have added this to the going out section, but as students, um, pre's is always a thing. We can never afford to actually go out or get lots of drinks when we're out because they'd be quite expensive. So we always just have at least an hour and a half of pre-drinking in the flat. And it's just always a bit more of a vibe if you have a Bluetooth speaker with music playing. I know a couple of my flatmates do. I also have a disco light <laughs> that we use in the kitchen. Um, it's just very important to have a Bluetooth speaker for music. Um, I would say. Um, right, the next thing we'll talk about is washing because I feel like a lot of people worry about this when they get air. Um, and the washing machines, well, for, personally for me, for like, I think there's probably about 250 people that live on my site. Um, and between us all, there is 10 washing machines. Um, and that is not a lot. <laughs> so 25% people do a washing machine. Mm -hmm. And half of the time, like a lot of them are broken. So it's just very difficult to do washing because they're never free. Like when I do my washing, I either do it extremely early in the morning, I mean like 5 a.m. or I do it quite late at night, um, like 12 o'clock at night. Like if you do it the day, you never will get space. If you do it in the like early evening, again, never will get space. Um, so I would definitely like be wary of that. Um, I also brought a quite a small washing basket with me, so it would motion me to do more washing and not leave it there. I haven't done my washing in three weeks because <laughs> uh, I've been so busy. I'm actually gonna do some tonight with my flatmate. Hopefully, hopefully we get a place, but all I would say is just be wary that washing can be quite difficult and getting the space. Um, the washing machines lock and they have a timer on it. So what you can do is you can put your washing in. A lot of former doses are like this. You can put your washing in and then set a timer on your phone and go back to your room and go back when the timer goes off. Because usually it says a time on the washing machine and the name is like a little bit longer than that. So I would just say um, put a time on your phone and go back. The next bit is about like medication, meds, and general homesickness. Um, the first thing I would say is, uh, I'm sure you saw if you watched my last vlog, I burnt my hand at work. Um, in the first week, so I had to go to A and E in the first week. Um, classic me. I'm not even remotely surprised with me first. Um, and I went to A and E because I wasn't registered to my my on campus GP, um, which is something you can actually do at most places before you get to university. I did not do this because I was like, I've literally been to the doctors about five times in my entire life. Um, I never really get sick. I don't, I'm not, I'm clumsy, but I'm not that clumsy. Obviously I was wrong. So I would definitely recommend registering with your local GP uh, at your university before you get to uni, because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, homesickness will be a thing for pretty much everybody. Um, I know I was quite homesick on the second week, but what made me get over it was talking to my mates from home, talking to my flatmates, getting my mind off of things by going to work. Um, yeah, it will definitely just be a thing, but just know everybody's going through the same thing, especially talking to your friends from back home because they know exactly what you're going through because you're all in the same situation. Um, so homesickness will definitely be a thing and I would say definitely expect it. Definitely bring some meds with you because again, freshers flu, like freshers flu will just catch you out, catch a lot of people out. In the second week we've been here before I burnt my hand, I had food poisoning, freshers flu and tonsillitis all in one, which was probably the worst three days of my life because I genuinely could not move from my bed. Um, luckily I hadn't actually started work then, but oh my God, uh, it was probably the worst I've ever felt ill-wise in my entire life. But um, the only thing that was saving me was Lancet, hot that currant juice and um, paracetamol. <laughs> the last thing I have on my list is about sleeping. <laughs> now, I really don't have a problem sleeping. Um, I'm quite the lucky one because A, I'm a ridiculously heavy sleeper. Me, I've talked to my flatmates about shit they've been doing during the night and I'm quite surprised I stayed asleep. Um, like for example, I think it was a couple weeks ago, like the day I cut my hair, um, we were out until three in the morning. We all came back and like like usual, my mattress was in Jess's room and Mia was sleeping around, as well as like a couple other people. And I just passed out on my mattress within about 20 minutes. And everybody, I mean like 10 people were still awake in that room having a conversation and I was just passed out. I did not hear a thing. Um, <laughs> other stuff like last night, people came in the really lovely kitchen apparently to Jess. <sighs> Didn't hear a thing. 
um but quite a lot of people were lucky like this building has very very thick walls rather luckily because it's an old workhouse so i'm quite lucky in that aspect um but a lot of accommodations have very very thin walls so you can hear everything that goes on in the corridor um so i would definitely recommend getting earplugs and an eye mask i actually have mine here right next to my bed um, I've used them sometimes when I can't get to sleep when people are outside. Um, I also get a lot of people outside the window and I'm also right under the staircase here. <laughs> so I hear everybody up and down the stairs. I'm going to end the video there. I hope I wasn't waffling too much. I probably was. I'm going to be editing this in a minute and be like, I'll, what the fuck are you saying? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please get a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this from me, give it a thumbs up as well. Um, if you like my channel, if you like this video and you want to watch more, hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a video. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you when I see you because I don't have an upload schedule. <laughs> Goodbye.